Hi, it's Caleb. I was just looking at the Wall Street Journal, the uh, May 22nd, 2010 edition, and I saw two articles uh, where a couple of investors gave their perspectives on the global economy and, um, well, specifically actually commodities. So I thought I'd give a summary of it, uh, just to kind of put it out there. They're two fairly different perspectives, um, but I think there's something that can be gathered from both. The first one is in an article called, Legendary Investor is More Worried Than Ever. Seth Klarman is the president of Valpost Group, an investment firm in Boston that manages $22 billion. His partnerships have returned nearly 17% annually over the past decade. Recently, he compared the financial markets to a hostess Twinkie. There is no nutritional value, he said. There is nothing natural in the markets. Everything is being manipulated by the government. He added, I am skeptical that the European bailout will work. You think? Mr. Klarman said, The government is now in the business, and I love this part, the government is now in the business of giving bad advice. Oh, only now? <laughs> I mean, come on. But, by holding interest rates at zero, he said, the government is basically tricking the population into going along on just about every kind of security except cash at the price of almost certainly not getting an adequate return for the risks they are taking. People can't stand earning 0% on their money, so the government is forcing everyone in the investing public to speculate. Mr. Klarman proclaimed, I am worried, I am more worried about the world more broadly than I ever have been in my career. That's because you can make good investing decisions and still end up with bad results if you reap the profits or if you reap your profits in currencies that do not hold their purchasing power, he explained. Will money be worth anything if governments keep intervening any time there is a crisis to prop things up, he asked. When Mr. Klarman was asked what he would suggest for small investors who share his worries, he said, all the obvious hedges, and mentioned, you might want to insure against the disaster scenario, but you shouldn't bet the ranch or the ranch on it. And, said Mr. Klarman, one of the best ways to protect against the decline in purchasing power is to buy whatever is, quote, out of favor, loathed, and despised. He didn't recommend gold because he felt that it was already too expensive for the uh, most or for the average investor to buy. Well, here's here's a bit of a different perspective, and this one's called "A Billionaire Goes All In on Gold." Low-profile billionaire Thomas Kaplan, a New York-born commodities magnate who earned a doctorate in British colonial history at Oxford, devotes an entire business empire largely to gold. He has gone further than perhaps any other investor, betting the majority of his wealth on gold and other precious metals. Through his firm Tigris Financial Group, Mr. Kaplan has loaded up on bullion and bought properties in 17 countries on five continents where geologists are looking for more gold. He said, I've reached a point where I feel the only asset I have confidence in is gold. Mr. Kaplan's views are shaped by a concern shared by many investors that heavy government spending hasn't contained the woes facing the financial system. Surprise, surprise. Anyways, he has experience with how supply and demand can drive the price of raw materials. His doctoral thesis studied Britain's involvement after World War II in Malaya because of rubber and tin. That taught him how far people will go to secure natural resources. He said, if the world goes well, gold will be fine. If the world doesn't go well, gold will also do fine. But a lot of other things could collapse. I wouldn't even say we're in a bull market yet, he said. Mr. Kaplan acknowledges the dangers involved in investing in small mining companies. It's not the kind of thing I would suggest for widows and orphans, he said. But if I am right about the big picture, 
I will be rewarded for my patience. So he acknowledges that investing in mining is a bit risky, especially small companies, but he still believes that um, investing in gold, not only mining, but also gold itself, is got a tremendous up, upside to it. I mean, he even said, I wouldn't even say we're in a bull market yet. So, well, we'll see. Anyways, thought I'd put that out there. Um, whether you agree with it or not, well, I don't know. You're just going to have to consider that. And uh, I hope that um, I'll be able to put up more articles that are somewhat related to economics and little commodities and specifically precious metals. All right, well, thanks for watching.